What's good guys, Mike Will here at M.Visuals. Welcome to today's video. We're gonna be going through what's in my camera bag 2021 summer edition. Let's get into it. first part of this video is going to be about what's in my camera bag, London edition. So this is my everyday carry. So firstly, the bag. Let's talk about that. We've got the Hex Back Black Loader. Hex Back Black. The Black Back Loader. What a f tongue twister. Really great. Very thin. That's why I really like it. It's quite a uh, incognito camera bag, which I'm a fan of. We've got several compartments on the front. I'm going to go through those as well. Let's open it up and check out how it looks inside. So you can see there's plenty of room here for all of my gear, for my everyday carry. So I'm gonna start with my camera. I'm using the Sony a7R 3 at the moment. The lens that's on it right now is the 12 to 24 2.8 G Master. Pretty new lens, really like it. We've then got the 24 to 70. Again, G Master 2.8. We've then got the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master as well. And that actually completes my everyday carry in a way because we've got all the way down from 12 all the way up to 200 at 2.8 i then also have the 35 1.4 g master the new lens that's just come out from sony again uh, and i tend to use this for portraits uh, and product as well because it's super clean and obviously having a prime lens is awesome i then always have a charging block this is a samsung one um, which is really important because I feel I'm on my phone so much, especially for social media. Never leave my house without one. But then in these compartments here, we've got a spare memory card. We've got a spare battery. So then on the front of the bag, something I make sure I have with me at all times is business cards. So this is super useful that the uh, hex bag has that. And then, yeah, we've got a front compartment as well, which is great for storing any gear. And I can also have filters or anything else I might need. A little compartment at the front here and then a laptop sleeve or a max sleeve there. And that's pretty much it. We've got a water bottle holder on the side. And then of course, for my everyday carry from out at night, I will also have a tripod with me. Now, currently I'm using the Manfrotto B3 carbon fiber. Now this is a slightly older model, which I prefer. I don't overly like having the twist legs, so I quite enjoy the clips. Um, so that's why I use a slightly older model. Um, and then, oh, I did forget one thing actually. I'm gonna open it back up again. And then lots of you always ask what I have on the bottom of my camera. So I have the Peak Design cuff, which is really useful because it does mean that if anything was to happen, I'm on a shoot. Yeah, it's amazing. And it means that I'm not gonna lose my camera. And actually something else if you're in the UK, a lens cloth. Now, it might seem silly, especially if you're in somewhere like LA where it never rains, but here in the UK, you never know what's gonna happen. So having a strap off me. So here in the UK, having a lens wipe and lens cloth actually for rain, um, super important to have in your camera bag. So that pretty much brings us to a close for the everyday carry. Obviously being a travel photographer as well, I use a slightly bigger bag. As I said at the beginning, I quite like the small, slim profile of this, but obviously to get more gear in, for instance, drones um, and a bigger and more lenses, we'll get into that now. Next up, we have my travel bag. This could be anything from working for tourism boards around the world, creating tourism and travel content. We'll also talk about some car, what I use for car photography and music photography as well. So here's the bag that I use for all of that. It's a bit bigger, a bit more bulky, but also much more secure and sturdy. It's the Low Pro. It's the Low Pro Pro Tactic BP. 450 AW. I really like this bag and obviously Lopro have done a great job because it is so well used within the industry. I'll get into it first, we'll open it up. So, so we've got a lot more space and we can fit lenses in vertically. Yeah, vertically. So it's very similar to my London everyday carry. We do have the same lenses here with the 12 to 24, the 24 to 70, the 70 to 200 and the 35 1.4. Now, sometimes I will have the 16 to 35 G Master 2.8, which we are actually filming on right here. And I also have sometimes have the A7 III if I need two bodies. Again, that's being filmed right upstairs. I also have the 20 1.8, uh, which I use for Astro uh, and some stuff at night. So again, that often fits in this compartment. Or when traveling, I might have to have hard drives and chargers. So that compartment might have to be free. Um, but it all depends on kind of what I'm doing and where I'm going to what sits in here. But for now, we've got the 21.8. Over on this side, we have the drone light painting kit that Loom Cube make. So I absolutely love this and you'll see some images will pop up on the, 
and what I looked up. We'll put them on the screen right now for you guys to see if you haven't seen them already. Um, but this light painting kit really makes it really fun and creative to do something a bit different in some locations around the UK that I've shot with. So that's really useful and it can fit in my bag right here on top of the 70 to 200. Uh, then my drone. So I actually use the Mavic Pro, which is the original Mavic. I got that when it first came out. Um, so you can see the controller fits quite nicely in this compartment here. We've then got the drone itself. So I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but if you haven't, this is the Mavic Pro original. I crashed it several times. So I've now got the only propellers I can find, which are these uh, slightly larger ones, which claim to make it quieter. I'm not sure I agree, but hey, if they tell me it does, maybe it does. Spare battery, and that all fits on top. So that's the drone that I often, well, usually try and travel with because it can be anything from actually recording video to f or photos or using the light painting kit. So super useful. I also, as you'll see in lots of images, we'll put one up now that I've used this light for, I uh, often have a light stick with me for light painting, especially if I'm traveling or if I'm even around London, I often have that in my everyday carry as well. We're using it right here. Thank you, Andy. I need to know what it's called. So this is it, really small. You can see in the overhead, it's gonna fit in my bag. Uh, and it's the Nanlite Pavo Tube 6C, uh, the second edition, so it's pretty new. I um, highly recommend these. They're really useful to just to have in your bag. Uh, we're gonna get it back, put it back on the light stand, but you can see that fits in perfectly with my, uh, especially with my travel, because I always like to get creative at night. So for cars, I tend to actually switch off my 12 to 24 and bring the 16 to 35, which you guys are watching this on right now. Um, I find it doesn't make the cars so like, just mad. So 16 to 35 is actually my favorite focal length to get some wider angles on a car. And then I actually shoot mostly all my car photography around 24 to 70, um, and then 70 to 200 for kind of more compressed classic images as well. Um, so I don't use my 12 to 24 for car photography. But that would go in here if I was doing a car shoot. Also, for car shoots and for travel in general, I have a 360 camera. I bought this a long time ago just for a bit of fun. And actually, I've really enjoyed using it. It's great for video. It can completely changes the dynamic of a place anything you're shooting. It's chucked it on the back of a car several times and this fits in really nicely in here as well. Um, and then along with that, you have to have the selfie stick, obviously. So this is the stick that comes with the Insta360, which is the one that I have. Um, and that can fit on top really easily when traveling as well. Who doesn't turn their phone off prior to a YouTube video? So that fits quite nicely in the bag here um, and can be in my travel kit, no problems at all. I use this mount, which is for the 360, which is often quite fun to have, and you can attach this to the back or the side or the front of a car with the 360 pole, um, and it, yeah, records some really cool footage. So again, this is quite fun to play around with. So I will often have that strapped to the side of my bag if I know I'm not shooting anything at night as well. Don't need to worry about a tripod. So yeah, super useful. Again, tripod is the exact same one that I've got in my everyday carry, which is a Manfrotto B3 carbon fiber. Um, really light, compact, and I like it for travel. So that's the tripod again. Also for car photography, a polarizing filter. I have an 82 mil, which I use on my 1635 and my 24 to 70. So this is really useful to stop reflections. Um, so I have that in there for car photography as well. And then also I have the Promis Tiffin filter, which is a 77 mil. This goes on my 24 to 7, no, this goes on my 17 to 200. Um, gives a real kind of hazy, dreamy effect. Honorable mention that I do have with me sometimes when I travel if I'm looking for that effect. So this was specifically based around if I'm working for tourism boards, so lots of travel, um, all different car brands. That's what I'd have in here and it all fits into one bag. Might have my computer in the uh, laptop sleeve here. So I may have to have a charger or a Lassie hard drive as well in this top compartment. Um, but generally speaking, this is what I have with me for that. If I'm doing a music festival, I tend to trim it down just slightly. I probably won't have my drone, uh, but I would have the 360 camera and I probably wouldn't have the 21.8. But what I do have is the Samyang 12mm 2.8 manual focus fisheye lens. So this gets some really cool effect, especially when you're on stage, and makes everything look super dramatic, and it's a really fun lens to play around with on stage. So that is 100% in my camera bag every time. I've actually not used this, but hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will have used this for live music, um, the 12 to 24, because I think that will also be really cool. Um, and then for music, again, a big one for me is the 35 1.4, especially in dark and low light conditions. It's amazing and it can pull some really lovely portraits um, of the DJs on stage. But I would have lots more um, charging decks. I usually bring two of these charging packs 
uh, because I'll be on my phone a lot. This is the Godox VS1. Um, pretty basic, but really good. Does everything I need. Um, so that always stays in the bottom here. And then I often use a prism. Um, now these are really great for portraits and you can really get some cool effects. I don't know how it's gonna look on this right now. Is it working? Um, I'll show you some on the screen right now, how that kind of just brings about a cool effect. So that brings us to a close for today's video of what's in my camera bag 2021 summer edition. You can find links to all of the products in the description below. If you do have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. Please like this video if you liked it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.